In the back cut, you can insert hatches into the walls of the floor plan. In this video, you'll learn how to assign a hatch or solid color to the external walls and a different hatch to the partition walls. First, select the color of the hatch that will be created inside the walls. Now, you need to select the external walls of the floor plan. A quick way to do this is using the Smart Selection tool. For this, go to Utilities, Selection, and Smart Selection. In this window, expand the Optics field and then the straight walls to see the different types of wall thickness in the drawing. Select the 0.25 wall and press OK. Now make a selection box to indicate the region that will be affected by this selection. And then right click to confirm the selection of the thicker walls of the drawing. Now that the walls are selected, go to the hatch function, choose the solid color type and check the walls insertion. After doing this, the solid color hatch will be inserted into the 25 cm walls. Let's do the same with the partition walls. First, choose a different color. Now go to Utilities, Selection and Smart Selection. Open Objects and span the straight walls and choose the 15 cm walls. Now make a selection box around the drawing and right click to select only the partition walls. Now you can go to the hatch function, choose solid color, make sure that the walls insertion is checked and press OK to insert the hatch. Note that every time you insert the hatch into the drawing, it will appear on top of the geometry. If you want to place it beneath the walls, you have to select both hatches, go to Utilities and select Send to Back. This way you will be able to see the sides of the walls. Every time you create a hatch, it will behave as a single object even if it's not connected. Therefore, I can select the partition hatches for example and change its color or delete it. It is recommended to insert this type of hatch only after the, all the generic items have been placed into the floor plan. The reason for this is that if I want to insert a new generic item, the wall will be trimmed automatically, but the hatch won't. Therefore, I will have to delete the hatch and insert it again.